Hello everyone, my name is Ana Ojeda Pinzón. I'm the product application specialist for large excavator covering Europe. And welcome everybody to the workaround of the Next Gen 395. So within the next minutes, I will take you through the key features and benefits of uh, this machine, but I would like to let you know that the key drivers of the design of this machine has been to improve productivity, reliability and durability. So some general specs, it is that this uh, machine mounts a proven C18 engine, 405 kilowatts, and the perfect match for this machine, it is to load a 55 metric tons truck in five passes. So to continue this conversation, let's go together and go up the excavator. And now that we are next to the cabin up here, let's talk and have a conversation about the new components layout. The new layout has been designed, taking into account the job of our technicians and operators in order to make their life easier when they have to do daily checks, walk arounds, and when they have to service the machine. In addition to that, L filters, fuel filters and hydraulic filters has an extended maintenance interval that it is decreasing the maintenance cost up to 20% and it is increasing uptime. Plus parts commonality within the whole product line, it is decreasing stock cost and improving availability. Let's talk together now about productivity. Let's talk about productivity. So, in productivity, we have two big contributors, payload and cycle time. And let's see what do we have in our machine to improve both of those elements. Cycle time depends on engine, hydraulic power, pump flow, uh, digging force. What do we have to improve that? This machine has a hydrostatic swing circuit. This is a bidirectional dedicated pump in a closed loop connected to the two swing motors. This has an impact in the swing speed and implement speed. So swing speed and implement speed are going to remain well balanced. In addition to that, the stick cylinder head diameter has increased and the maximum relief valve pressure has increased as well, allowing to have a higher digging force and that means a faster bucket penetration. And now let's talk about how do we increase the contribution of payload in this new machine. So the contribution to payload is that this machine is able to work with a bigger bucket. 6.5 cubic meters bucket. This means up to 15% more higher payload. To make this possible, the counterweight has been increased in 3.3 metric tons. And now that we are here, let's talk about durability. The stick, the boom, the upper frame and the lower frame of the machine has been reinforced to improve durability. New design, weldings, thickness improvement, inner baffles are better at absorbing the stress to reduce the risk of crack when working in harsh condition with the heavy materials. And now let's see what do we have in terms of technology in this 395 and for that we are connected with Frank who is in another 395. So Fran, how are you? So hello Anna, 
Um, I'm doing fine, thank you. Um, so what we're going to see now is the cat production measurement system. Okay, so you can see I already have it set up. I have chosen the 775, which is target of 64 tons, which is going to be the truck I will be loading. I also chose the material, which is the rock, um, the target payload of the truck. So this is how many tons the truck has inside the body as I start tipping it in. And this is the bucket, the bucket payload. Okay, these stars will turn into numbers as I start um, moving the material. And you'll see this is the bucket count, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so we can see this bucket icon has turned into green. That means I have an accurate weight. Okay, so it's done his, gone through his weight range when I boom up and swing. And that's meaning I have an accurate weight. The beauty about this system also is I don't need to change the way I operate. I can just keep an eye on the monitor with the audible warnings also and I know exactly what is going on. And again, it's a nice tool to not overload or underload your trucks on a daily basis. Okay, so that was my second pass. I already have 23 tons inside the truck and I'm going for my third pass. Okay, so I've got 33.8 tons inside the truck. Another 30 to go. So that's bucket number four. I have 44.1 inside the truck and a small green dot there telling me that I'm getting close to my target. I heard a small audible warning and that green dot is telling me I'm on my last pass. So I've done five passes and I have 53.7 right now inside the truck. Okay, so that's basically telling me, based on the material I've got, I would slightly overload the truck, but it's nothing, so I'm going to dump it all in. Okay, so I loaded 64.3 tons inside the truck with six passes. I overloaded my truck in 300 kilos. So that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much. I hand it back to Anna. Have a great day. Okay, Frank, thank you so much and great demo, as always. And now we are going to talk a little bit about work tools. So, um, to maximize your equipment production and versatility, Caterpillar will offer a wide range of work tools to the need of your site and application. From bucket hydromechanical work tools such as hammer, demolition grapples, multiprocessors, pulverizers or shears. Caterpillar design and manufacture its work tools on house and all of them are available through your Caterpillar dealer. Our hydromechanical wall tool can be fit with the work tool recognition device. This is going to allow operators of next-gen excavator to find and select the tool designed for the machine and automatically select and adjust the setting to the tool selected. This will improve the operator productivity and the safety. 
specific to the 374 and the 395, you can fit the Caterpillar Performance Hammer H180S. And in 2021, Caterpillar will release the XL Hammers H190S and the H215S, as well as the Pulverizer P365. Our machine and work tools have been designed together to deliver the best value while maintaining low operating cost, best production and the lowest fuel consumption. So this is all from our side. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope to see you soon in another video.